Hello and welcome. We're here to talk about the DF Robot four-wheel drive mobile platform for the Arduino. Now, I've seen many people in the forums and online talk about is this ma solely made for Arduino. To tell you the truth, um, it's marketed that way. I don't know for sure, but I can tell you from my own experience, many robot kits, even though they're marketed that way, they're not always made just for one controller board. So if you're worried that it's just made for the Romeo or this or that, um, you know, don't always worry. You know, robot kits are still earlier, you know, early in the infancy, and you know, you still have to do a lot of stuff yourself. What I'm going to basically do is kind of just go through what's in the kit and what to expect when you order it. So basically, this is what you're going to get, and you may get one of these. This is a DF Robot Romeo Arduino controller. So this is actually does not come with the kit; it's separate. But this is typically what it's packaged with. Uh, the reason why is probably because it has the buttons, it's got a lot of scalability, and it's very easy to use, and there's not too much complication with it. Unlike other ones, like if you get the Arduino Mega, where it doesn't have, uh, you know, for example, it does have a lot of, a lot of support, a lot of things. But as you can tell, there's no motor, uh, nothing to plug in your motors to. You got to get a motor shield for that, and a couple other things. There's no buttons. Um, this is a great platform to start off with. It's fairly inexpensive. It's about 50 bucks in most uh, online stores, or in Euro, I think it's about 35. <clears throat> so it makes it very easy for you to get into it. Also, the components you have, like the motors and whatnot, you can, from what it looks like here, you can easily pick these up at Radio Shack if they break down on you. So that's another great, great thing about this. Um, so I'm just going to go on and I'm going to start opening this up so you can see what's in the inside, and we can start off with that. One thing I do want to make note of is that it does not come with an instruction manual. So in the next videos, you'll see us trying to build this. Hopefully, we can find an instruction manual online on how to build this. If not, you can use ours as the experiment or as the uh, guide to help you build it. So I'm just going to start by opening this up to see what we're going to get into. And if you're new to robotics, this looks very promising as a new kit. These tires are pretty good. Looks like you can use them indoors and outdoors. Uh, I'm not sure if you can roll around in the mud with these things, but you can use them. Okay, so we have four wheels. Looks like these are the, the base. Actually, just by looking at this, this reminds me a lot of the uh, Lynx motion that uh, we reviewed. And basically, I can already tell that these are going to plug in like so. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is becoming very obvious what it's going to be. So this is obviously the front, these are the side panels here. Obviously these are the motors, so it comes with four motors, they're pretty small, they look like hobby motors, nothing special really. We have a battery pack which takes five AA batteries, and this looks like something that might go on top of that, I'm not quite sure. We have some bases here, we have some hardware, some standoffs, and some cabling which looks like that's going to be used for the motors. And then we have a couple platforms here. Let me just throw this out. So, just, you know, I think mainly uh, we, have a dis we have an advantage over you in the sense that we build a lot of these kits all the time. So it's pretty obvious to us how this is going to be put together. Um, it's not obvious to us, however, what screws go where. Maybe they have all the same screws and that'll make things easier to decipher. But I seriously doubt it. Um, so that's about all you're going to get. So it looks like uh, if we were to just kind of quickly put this together, makeshift, you know, just makeshift this and, you know, see how it's going to work, we can see right away without any reading, without anything, uh, how this is going to be put together. So it looks like this is going to go here. It looks like you're going to flip this over. Sure enough. Yeah, this is a lot like the Lynx motion, except in a small form, small form factor, which is really nice because it's small, lightweight for you to play around with, tinker around with. And it looks like you'll put your DC motors in there. This will go mounted somehow like this. And this looks like a platform that's going to go on top. So you can see that was pretty quick to put together. It says it's actually turning out to be a very nice kit. And the construction is all really nice. It's all. Uh, looks like aluminum or metal, so some other metal of some sort. It's not look like aluminum, but it's painted black. Um, it's already got drill, uh, holes pre-drilled, and it's got a battery pack. One of the things that you'll often see me do in robot kits, I will go ahead and use what they give us, but I often switch out for a rechargeable battery just because 
you know, it's nice to have five or six rechargeable batteries hanging around that you could easily swap in and out. That's about it. Um, 